Hello and welcome everyone to this video on creating and using function imports by Zaran Tech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zaran Tech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of function import in OData. Now the term itself is suggesting function import. See, whenever the given requirement does not fit into the CRUD operations in OData services, that time we will go for function import in OData. Now, what does that mean? So in normal cases, you will be using CRUD operations in OData services to fill or to get the all kind of requirements. But whenever the requirement does not fit into the CRUD operation, then in that scenario, you will be using function import in OData. And for function import in OData, we See, function import are used to do the get and post operation for the requirement. That is, whatever the operation that do not fit in the CRUD operation, in that scenario, function imports are used to do the get and post operation for the requirements which are not possible by the standard operations available in OData. That is, CRUD operations. And one of the important thing for function imports is that function import needs a medium to return values. Now, what medium it requires? The medium is entity and entity set. That is, we need to map the function import with entity and entity set. I will show you how mapping is done there. And uh, you will see the uniform resource information like this. The URI will be like this on the gateway where you will be testing your o function import in OData. So for that, I have taken a requirement. I will be providing in, in import the material and plant number from the front end applications. And in export, I will be providing material, material description and plant to the front end application. Now let's see the implementation. Simply go to SEGW transaction and see. I have created a project for it. So, where is my project? Let me find out. Uh, function import. So, this one. This is my project. See what I have done here. I have basically created two entities. First one is company code. See, first one is company code in which I have taken two parameters. Company code and material. And the second one is for material. And in material, see the properties. We have three fields there, material, plant, and material description. And in the first one, you will see we have company code and here CC name. As for the requirement, I told you that we will be providing the material and plant in input, and I will be providing material, material description, and plant as output. So see what we have done here, company code and this one. Then in the, you will have to create a, function import here. So for that purpose, you will simply right click here and you will go to create and there you will use the function import button. My, this project is in read mode. So I will open it into change mode so that you can see it in more better way. See, create and function import. This is how we create a function import. So I have created a function import here, function import company code, then function import material. And in this function import, you see the parameters here. We have the various parameters. The parameter first one is of type string. And it's above field I've taken is BUTRS. Then in the second of the function, imp uh, function import material, you see we have the company code and material here. Now let's see the implementation part. For the implementation, you simply click on the generate button to generate the runtime artifacts here and you will go to the DPC extension class and see what you will do here. In the DPC extension class, simply go to methods and in inherited methods, you see we have a important folder inter interface name which is SRV underscore runtime. And in this particular interface, you will find this method. Let me show to you. Yeah, execute underscore action. So I've already redefined it. 
but in your case you will find this as a green color in this particular folder here which this is nothing but a interface you will come right click right click on it and you need to redefine it now see what i have done here so for the entity that i have created i will simply create a internal table for that particular entity and if my here i will this will be the input through which i will be getting my out my value from the front end application so if this value is import code then i have used this read operation and after that i have written the select queries so this is how we will write it and once i am getting the data into my this internal table then i have used this copy data to ref method so that i can transfer the value of it underscore code to er underscore data so that we can see the output from the external application as well now go to back button yeah just go to service maintenance here and go to client so that we can test it click on execute here we are getting the 200 value now see what we are going to do here i will simply open my see how this will we are going to write i will write the function import here the value of my function import and what is my function import this one is my function import. i will simply copy it and first i will select yeah select the entity set no 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 not the entity set we'll simply write the function import here so remove this one yeah then after i have given this value of company code and if max something i want so i will give this value of company code here the company code value what i have taken 2020 so see give the question mark here then company code of company code equals to 2020 and max oh uh, max is small yeah we have got a small case here so max equals to 10 now click on execute see i'm getting my value here of company code type 2020 i'm mark agencies so this is a, how we will be using your function import in odata services these are one of the important concept that needs to be taken care of and why when we use the fun concept of function import so whenever the requirement does not fit into the CRUD operation that time, we will go for the function import in OData services. And function imports are used to do the get and post operation for the requirements, which are not possible by the standard operations available in OData. And one of the important things that we need to remember is function imports need a medium to return values and for that we need to map the function import with entity and entity sets so this is all about function import in odata services thank you very much